Welcome to the spoken tutorial on assignment grading and report generation in Moodle. In this tutorial, we will learn how to review online and offline assignment submissions, give feedback on submissions, edit grades for assignments, and generate various grade reports in Moodle. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, Apache, MariaDB, and PHP, obtained through XAMPP 5.6.30, Moodle 3.3, and Firefox web browser. You may use any web browser of your choice. However, Internet Explorer should be avoided as it causes some display inconsistencies. This tutorial assumes that your site administrator has registered you as a teacher and assigned at least one course to you. It also assumes that you have added some course material, assignments and quizzes for your course and you have some student logins. If not, please refer to the relevant Moodle tutorials on this website. Before we begin, let me show you how a student will submit an assignment. I have logged in as student Priya Sinha right now. In the left panel, click the following as shown. My Courses, Calculus, and Assignment 1, hyphen evolutes and involutes. I can see the details of the assignment and the submission status like due date, etc. Click on add submission button at the bottom of the page. The assignment allows both online text as well as file submission. Let me upload a document with my solutions for this assignment. The submission file assign1-q1-soln.odt is available in the code files link of this tutorial. Please download and use it. I'll drag and drop my file here. Scroll down and click on the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. The submission status says Draft not submitted. We can also add a comment or edit the submission before finally submitting it. Scroll down and click on Submit Assignment button at the bottom of the page. Click Continue to confirm the submission. The submission status has now changed to Submitted for Grading. The grading status shows Not Graded. Note that there are only two attempts allowed. That is because the teacher has set this to be opened manually. It can be attempted again only if the teacher allows it from her login. Let me log out from Priya's account now. Ensure that all your students have attempted the assignments. This is important before you review as a teacher. Pause the tutorial and attempt the assignment for at least 5 students. I have already done so for my students. I will now log in as teacher Rebecca Raymond. In the left panel, click the following as shown. My Courses, Calculus and Assignment 1 hyphen Evolutes and Involutes. We can see the description and the grading summary on this page. The number of submissions and the ones required for grading are also listed here. Click on View All Submissions link. This will open a page. Here, we can see the details of all the students who attempted the assignments. Note that there are no names against the submissions. This is because the assignment was marked for blind grading. 
Let me close the navigation menu on the left for a larger view. Now let's understand this page. At the top of the page, click on the Grading Action drop-down. It has four options. Download all submissions. Reveal student identities. Upload multiple feedback files in a zip. And view gradebook. Let us go through them one by one. Select the option Download all submissions. This will download all the student submissions in a zip file. I have already downloaded and extracted the zip file on my system. Every student's online text submission and file submission are in a folder. I have five submissions, so I can see folders for participant 34 to 38. The participant names could be different for you. Let me open the assignment submission folder for participant 38. Open the file assignment1-q1-soln.odt submitted by the student. I will add a comment to the file as shown. Then I'll save it as assignment1-q1-feedback.odt and close the file. It is not mandatory to save the file as a different file. I have done this so the student knows the file is different from her solution file. I will also add the solution file to the folder. I have saved the file as solution evolutes and involutes.pdf. This file is available in the code file section of the tutorial. This is helpful if you have many submissions and you prefer to grade them offline. Pause the tutorial here and do this assignment. Add feedback to submissions made by other students. Select all the student folders with the submission inside and zip. Name the zip file as assignment1-feedback.zip. You can choose a name of your choice for the zip file. Resume the tutorial when done. Let us go back to the browser. In the grading action drop-down, the next option is to reveal student identities. A confirmation box opens when this is selected. This option has to be used with caution. That is because the action cannot be undone. Also note, that you have to reveal student identities after the submission. Unless you do this, students will not be able to view their grades. Let me cancel this right now. Click on Grading Action drop-down. The next option is Upload Multiple Feedback Files in a Zip. This enables teachers to send feedback files back to all students in one single action. We will upload the feedback file assignment1-feedback.zip. Click on Upload Multiple Feedback Files in a Zip option in the drop-down. Drag the feedback zip file to the upload area. Click on Import Feedback Files button at the bottom of the page. You can see a screen with the name of the files that have been modified. Click on the Confirm button at the bottom of the page. The next page shows the status of the upload. Click on Continue button at the bottom of the page. We are back in the Submissions page. Below the Grading Action drop-down is the table with submissions for all students. Every row in the table represents one student. Below the table, Click on the drop-down with Selected. The options in this drop-down are for selected users. We can select users from the checkbox on the left of each row. We will come to this drop-down later. Below this drop-down is the Options section. It has filters to narrow down our list. Note the horizontal scroll below the table. 
If you cannot see some of the columns in the table, you can scroll to the right. Let us come back to the submissions now. Click on the grade button to grade an individual submission. You can see the submission on the left and the panel on the right. Here we can add comments, put the grades and leave feedback for the submission. The left panel is more like an editor. This is where we can add notes or highlight the submitted document. Explore this toolbar on your own. On the right panel, I will give the grade as 76 and add a feedback comment. When done, click on the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. Click on OK button to confirm the changes. Now, click on the Assignment Name link at the top left of the page. Click on View All Submissions link at the bottom of this page. Notice that the grade is now shown next to the Grade button. Below the Submissions table is another drop-down menu. This allows the teacher to lock or unlock a submission. I will select the submission that I just graded Locking a submission freezes the submission. No further changes can be made by the student after this. Select Lock Submission and click on the Go button on its right. Click on OK in the confirmation box. The status of the assignment now says Submission Changes Not Allowed. The teacher, however, can edit the grades if required. Unlocking, on the other hand, unlocks any locked assignment. After you have finished grading, click on the Grading Action drop-down. Now, select Reveal Student Identities. Read the notice in the confirmation box and click the Continue button. Note that the students' names and email IDs are now revealed in the rows. Students will be able to view their grades now. Click on the Grading Action drop-down and select View Gradebook. We will be redirected to a page with the title Grader Report. Grader Report is a comprehensive report for all students. All the grades for each student can be found in this report by default. You can filter these by students' names by clicking on the alphabets here. Next, click on the tab Single View. Single View report has two drop-downs. Select Grade Item. Selecting any item will show grades of all students for that activity. Select User. This will show grades of all activities for that user. Let me select Assignment 1, hyphen Evolutes and Involutes from the Select Grade Item drop-down. I can see the list of all enrolled students along with details of their attempts. It is possible to modify either one or bulk grades from this page. You can also override or exclude students from the column on the right. To modify grades in bulk, check the checkbox Perform Bulk Insert. Select Empty Grades in the For drop-down. Enter 0 in the Insert Value text box. Click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. Click on Continue button after you see the success message. Notice that all the empty grade boxes now have 0. Let us now see the user report. User report shows a breakdown of the grades for each assessment for every student. Scroll down to see the assignments and quizzes. On the top right of the report is a drop down to select a user. Let me select Priya Sinha. 
teachers have the option to view the report as the selected user or as a teacher. Every report shown here can be exported in various formats. Let me export this user report. Click on the export tab one level above the various reports. The reports can be downloaded in four formats. Open document spreadsheet, plain text file, Excel spreadsheet and XML file. I will click on open document spreadsheet. There are various filters that you can use to filter your export. By default, all grade items are included. Let me select assignment 1 hyphen evolutes and involutes. Click on export format options to expand the section. Check the checkbox include feedback in export. Then click on the download button at the bottom of the page. Select save file option and then click OK to save the file. I have already saved the file on my system. Let me open and review the file which downloaded on my machine. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned how to review online and offline assignment submissions, give feedback on submissions, edit grades for assignments, and generate various grade reports in Moodle. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This script has been contributed by Priyanka. And this is Nancy Verkey along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thanks for joining.